I'm looking for a decimal point. Not here. Not here. Where is the decimal point? For this problem, we want to take this number, 32.5, times 13. I'm going to show you one way to do this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an estimate. So when we do our estimate, I look at my two numbers and I say, what is this close to and what is this close to? For this problem, I'm going to round to the nearest 10. What I have is 32.5, which is close to 30, times 13, which is close to 10. That is equal to 300. That's my estimate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry out the multiplication without the decimal point. So look at this. I'm writing down 30, excuse me, 325 times 13. No decimal points. And I'm doing regular multiplication. So here we go. 3 times 5 is 15. There's the 5. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. And 3 times 3 is 9. Remember, because I am now moving to this spot, I need to put in a helpful zero down below. There's my zero. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. All right, time to add everything up. 5, 12, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 2 is 12, carry the 1, 4. So here's my question. Where does the decimal point go? Do I want to put it here, or here, or here, or here? Well, let's look over at my estimate. My estimate says it's about 300. So I know that I want something that's in the hundreds, and preferably kind of close to 300. So I want to put my decimal point right here, because that's 422.5. And in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's where my decimal point goes. Kind of messy. But that's what my answer is. 422.5. Let's do that again. There's my decimal number. There's my decimal number. Let's estimate. This time, when I estimate, I'm going to estimate each number to the nearest 1. So if I look at 2.242 to the nearest 1, that's 2. And 3.8, I would round up to 4. So I've got 2 times 4, that's 8. That's my estimate. So now it's time to write down the numbers. 242 times 38. 8 times 2 is 16. There's the 6. Carry the 1. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Now, what I'm going to do is focus in on multiplying by the 3. So again, what I need is a helpful 0 here. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Scratch that out. Put the 1 up there. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. A little messy here, but I think I can straighten things out. We've got a 6, a 9, an 11. Carry the 1. That's a 9. Here's my question. Where does the decimal point go? Does it go there, or there, or there, or there? Look at your estimate. My estimate is about 8, which means I've got a number with just 1s and no 10s. So I don't want something like 91.96 or 919. I want something like 9.196. That's where my decimal point goes. So again, my answer is, when I do the multiplication, 9.196. There are other ways to do these types of problems, but we're focusing today on finding an estimate and using it to figure out where the decimal point goes.